Hey guys, my name is Frank Bell. This is Luke Carroll. We'll be in charge of physical training for summer seminar. Today we'll be walking you guys through each part of the candidate fitness assessment. If you have any questions uh, further, we'll send you a link for the admissions page where you can find the actual instructions. And we'll send you out a form also to record your scores. Here we go. Alright guys, so we're going to do the first part here is the basketball throw. We're just out here on a field right now that has yard markers, but you could also use a tape measure. Um, and we're going to throw the ball. It's wherever it lands. Just try to eye it out because you're probably going to be by yourself. But um, find a line, put your knees on the line. And when you throw the ball, no part of your body can cross this line, even on the follow through. So when you follow through, you have to stay upright. Your hands can't land like this. So we're going to go ahead and throw the ball now. You throw it with one hand. And I'm just watching to see where that lands. I'm going to walk up, find that marker, and guess how far it is. So. All right, for part two of the CFA, we're going to be doing the pull-ups. So for the pull-ups, you're going to start in a dead hang like this. And then you're going to go up, chin over bar, back down. And you're going to do as many as you can in two minutes. If you can't do a pull-up as a female, then you are allowed to do the dead hang, which is chin over bar. And you go for as long as you can, record, record your score, and that's the pull portion of the CFA. Okay, so for phase three of the CFA, we'll be doing the shuttle run. The shuttle run will consist of a 40 yard back and forth run. You'll go ahead and find a starting line like we have here. And then what you'll wanna do is measure out 10 yards from your starting line, like we did over there at the 30 yard marker. And so you'll go ahead and get into a starting position on the command go, you'll kick it off and start your stopwatch. And then you'll run towards your 10 yard mark. And it's very important that you touch the line with both your foot and your hand. So you wanna to touch down like this, and then you can go ahead and push off for momentum, return back to your starting point, do the same thing with your left side, left foot, left hand, push off again. And you'll do this a total um, your total distance will end up being 40 yards once you return back to your starting line for the second time. So then you'll run through, take your time, and then record that for your CFA. Alright guys, this is part four of the CFA here, the crunch portion. I have my partner Luke here holding my feet down. You can also find a couch or something to anchor your feet down. But the goal is to do as many crunches in the time span of two minutes. And so here's the proper form. You're gonna have your arms on your shoulders here and your elbows are gonna come up and touch your, your thighs like this. And that counts as one rep. And then you have to go all the way down to where your shoulder blades, blades touch the ground and then back up. And the goal is to do as many as you can in two minutes and then record your score. Okay, so for the fifth portion of the CFA, we'll be doing push-ups. So timed push-ups, you'll have two minutes. So keep a stopwatch on you. Once the two minutes starts, you're gonna execute as many push-ups that you can during that period with good form. So the form we're looking for is like so. So start like this with your back straight, and then you're gonna go down until you're about parallel with the deck, and then come back up, and that's one and you want to execute as many as you can within two minutes with good form because that's the score we'll be taking down for your CFA. So move as fast as you're able to to maximize the points and that is the push-up portion of the CFA. So for the final portion of the CFA, you're going to execute a one mile timed run. Walking is allowed during the run, strongly discouraged. What you're trying to do is get the best possible time for your run. So whether it's on a track or some sort of previously mapped out mile course, just try to find a flat surface that spans the course of a mile. Um, you're going to want a stopwatch to start and end your run, and then you'll record that for your CFA. So that concludes the CFA. If you do not have equipment such as a ball or a pull-up bar, whatever your situation may be, um, we understand we don't need a score for everything if you don't have the ability to do the tests, but do as much as you can with the most accurate results as possible 
for your own sake so that way you get a pretty accurate gauge of where you are for completing the real CFA in the near future. So thank you and that'll wrap up the CFA.